Hello, I decided to revisit the Wagening of Commanders that I didn't have a video for yet in order to have a review for all the Wagenings that happened in the game until now, giving directions to the ones that follow my videos on how to plan their Wagenings. In this video, I will review together Lyanna, Andra and Miranda Wagenings as they are very similar commanders in the different troop types and they have very similar Awakening also, giving the same amount of stats in the two types and having a related skill. So starting with their generic review as commanders, they were once the main paid commanders to be used from their troop types before Awakenings, before Enzo and the others appeared, as they were some of the few commanders giving bonuses in all of the three slots and they were very helpful in increasing stats early in the game. Nowadays there are other commanders giving better stats in specific troop types that can help a bit more. Their medals can be obtained via events like Summer Dance and mainly via commander medal packs with 50 black diamonds for 15 medals without any discount. Focusing now on the bonuses they give via their army skills, they give 30% attack, 30% defense and 30% health in their respective troop type, Lyanna for Cavalry, Andre for Infantry and Miranda for Spears. It's basically not bad as they give stats in all three slots of their army skills as I said before, before awakening this was the most important thing. Regarding their PvE skills, they are not so useful in this part, they are not recommended to be used in any formations for example for rebel leaders. Even a lot of free-to-play commanders are better in this aspect of the game. Focusing on their tavern, Lyanna gives 3 stars of finance and 4 stars of leadership. Adria gives 3 stars of aptitude and 4 stars of leadership. And Merada gives 3 stars of finance and 4 stars of combat rate. They are actually Quite good on Tavern, as two of them give 4 stars of leadership and Miranda gives combat rate. These are the two most important stats from Tavern, helping quite a lot in fighting. Leadership by increasing the army and rally size and combat rate by giving the chance to increase your stats. Let's now discuss their awakening. First, note that even after awakening they are not useful for PvE, for rebel leaders and stuff, so you don't need to awaken them for that. First of all, when they are awakened to 2 stars, they will have one more star on tavern. They are all useful with their tavern attributes, and if I would have to choose one, or basically if I would have to put them in order, it would be Adria first, as she has both leadership, which is the most important, and the second attribute she has aptitude, which is quite useful. Then Laena with leadership, as finance I don't take into account at all, and last Merada giving combat rate. When there is 3 stars, we have the 1.6 multiplication in their stats, giving 48% of its attack, health and defense in their respective troop type. Focusing now on the hidden abilities, when they are fully awakened to 3 stars and use all the books before 4 star, they give 28% on defense, 26% on health and 26% on attack, of course each one for the respective troop type. This leads to a total of 76% defense, 74% health and 74% attack. This is quite a good amount of stats that can help in formations for the specific troop types as it involves all three main attributes in combat, attack, health and defense and it's a nice addition to our percentages. Only a few big commanders have better stats for its specific troop types, namely Lats for infantry, Enzo for cavalry, and Drake for spears. Focusing now on the awakening skill that we obtain when we awaken a commander at 4 stars, their skill is the following. They give 30% more defense of their troop type if the amount of troops of their troop type is bigger than the troop type they counter, and otherwise they give 30% attack. Evaluating the skill, I think that it doesn't actually add much, especially with the bonuses numbers that we have reached by now in the game, with the patches, the refinement, weapons and others, 30% is not going to make much difference. 
Especially compared to other epic commander skills, we can say that it's not really a good skill. Most important thing is that it is not directly involved with any of the awakening synergies in the game, namely the female commander damage based on Leila, the weakness and healing based on Jamie, and the normal attack synergy based on Sinara. So, upgrading these commanders to 4 stars is not going to change the outcome of a battle. And I do not think it worth the 320 epic tokens to make them 4 stars. But in my opinion, up to 3 stars if they fit in your formation in the specific troop type, in addition to your awakening synergy to increase your stats in specific troop type formations, they could be quite useful, offering a decent amount of stats. However, if you are a low spender and you are not able to have a lot of epic commanders awakened, I would say that you should focus on building a synergy first, focusing first on the basic commanders of some awakening synergy, and do not focus on these ones. In general, although these commanders are not directly related to any synergy because of their skill, they can fit in the Leila based female formations for each troop type as they are females and Leila formations involve mainly 4 commanders with their skills Leila, Salma, Arya and Annie and the 5th commander should be a female commander that also helps with stats so these 3 commanders could fit there as the 5th commander Thank you a lot for watching the video and do not hesitate to leave a comment